Assalamu alaikum. Hello and very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. And as usual, before I start the video, can I please request to click or tap on the subscribe button and click or tap on the bell icon. This will make sure that you will get the notification of my future videos. Now, as planned um, in my second video, that I will be uh, sharing the success stories of the people who are residing in the small cities and these people are like they have started from the grassroots level and they became at this stage where you can easily class them as a successful person so bearing that in mind uh, consider this video as a first episode of my success story with myself being presented to yourselves as a success story and the reason why I think I'm a success story is when I'm going to share all the details about myself in this video you will start believing that I am a success story and as I mentioned that success doesn't mean that you are earning a very high income there are lots of other factors too that needs to be included into the success and once I am done with the videos and with series of the interviews you will start believing in me. So uh, without wasting the time, let's just start the video. So as you know, my name is Zuhaib and I am born and raised in Bahawalpur. Um, I am 29 years old and I have done my schooling from one of the renowned school of Bahawalpur. And then after that, I, after the matriculation, obviously, I started the FSC. FSC pre-engineering and all the planning was like I have to become an engineer and this is not what I aim for this is what I was fed during my whole um, educational career like from metric and then after FSC I mean I was never asked what I wanted to be I was like told that I have to be an engineer and why that was the case because there are a lot of engineers around us not in just Bahawalpur but in the different cities or in the different countries even our relatives friends family friends they were earning very good salary so my family decided that I have to be an engineer and just a little bit of a personal background um, my father is a retired banker and he was not like medically uh, fit um, that's why he was not able to do any further job or any further business and our main source of income was like his pension and a few other small source of income so just to uh, make you guys aware I mean um, the main priority was to live in Bahawalpur but uh, after my FSC and then I started like having applying in a different universities and I'm not sure what went wrong in FSC. I was a bright student still in matriculation and I got good grades in matric. I'm not sure what went wrong in FSC. It was, either it was an extra pressure from the family or even I was fed up or in fact I was not having a clear, clear goals in terms of my career choosing but I didn't get good grades in FSC and as a result of that I wasn't able to get a admission in the reputable engineering universities of Pakistan. So at that time my family was uh, very disappointed and especially my father because he, he has left with no option just to make me an engineer. And at that time um, I, like, I had a discussion with my father that engineering is not everything. We can consider other courses but again like a mindset of our parents and it's not their fault i mean it's like an overall impression in our society that only doctors engineers and bureaucrats and the highest paid tv anchors celebrities i mean if someone is earning in lakhs that he's considered as a successful person even if someone is following his passion or is following his ambition and he's trying to achieve the goal, he cannot be considered as a successful person. So my father said, and he was like having a clear understanding that I 
will not be able to do anything in my life and my life will be like full of hurdles difficulties because ultimately one i'm not getting a good salary or good income then obviously i will be in a huge difficulties but after like series of discussions and discussion and with advice of different people his friend i decided to choose accountancy now with accountancy um obviously the university degree of mcom um M- mba again my father thinks that you will not be able to do good in your life or to earn a good salary or to get a good job if you do like simple masters or mcom and again he was getting all this stuff from his friends ex colleagues and from relatives so after that i decided to do a chartered accountancy and when i shared this idea with my father and i shared again i i showed him the benchmark of different chartered accountants who were earning a very good salary my father was somehow convinced but again he said you didn't get the good grades in fsc then how you can manage to get such a difficult accountancy qualification so he again said i'm not going to waste your time and my money in this in this degree so again there was a discussion carried out carried out and I, then i decided to do acca and again acca was chosen because there were some good examples of our relatives family friends who were earning a good salary in a good organizations after doing acca so it was decided in 2009 that i have to do acca now acca is a chartered certified accountancy qualification of united kingdom and it's all related to accountancy finance taxation business management business administration it i started that degree in 2009 and alhamdulillah i completed that in 2013 and i started from bahawalpur and after that i have to move to multan and lahore to complete the studies and i'm not sure if i was made for acca or if it the, my mind was actually grown up with such sort of qualification but i have cleared all the papers in one attempt we have like 14 exams of acca and before acca we have to do another qualification it's like an entrance qualification of acca it's called certified accountant technician and now it is being uh, named as fia foundation in accountancy so i i did my prior qualification or a certification before doing acca and at that too i i completed in reasonable time period of 9 months and then after that i spent 3 years in acca and i passed almost all the paper in f- in first attempt and in 2013 i completed my acca so like i mentioned uh, my father's medical condition so i i didn't like to be honest to live in multan or lahore i i wanted to come back to bahawalpur i wanted to live with my family because according to me if i'm earning a very good salary and my family is struggling here at in the hometown then that salary is for a lost cause I tried to convince my family to shift to Lahore or in any other bigger city but they said we are happy we are more than happy to send you but we cannot go along with you because all of our setup is here so after completing acca in 2013 i came back to bahawalpur and the reason i told you that i wasn't mentally satisfied and stable to leave my parents alone because i am an alone son i do i do have two elder siblings like two elder sisters but again i don't want to leave my parents alone so i came back to bahawalpur whereas my other friends and classmates they were applying in different reputable organization for the jobs and for the internships i mean when rest of my classmates were very busy in in their career making i i came back to my home city so i decided to find some job in bahawalpur and i started doing it 
but I spent couple of months but I couldn't find any job at that stage again the frustration was at its peak not for me but obviously for my family so it's a brief introduction of my personal education background so in my next video I will share how I struggled professionally when I started the first job what I did after that and what I have been doing from 2013 till 2020 so stay tuned for the next video until then take care goodbye allah hafiz and yes again please do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon and also let me know in the comment section if you are liking my stories and if you also want to hear the success stories of the people around small cities how they grew up how they are a success story and do you consider them a success story and do let me know in the comments if you think my story is interesting thank you goodbye and allah hafiz